tonight for some reason i can't sleep keep thinking about this video i put here and this one right here and just to give you this is like a workshop me just doing research behind the scenes what i'm thinking right now i feel like it's important that i document what i'm doing regardless of the time editing and all that other stuff my videos are as you know is raw i don't have fancy graphics or sound or you name it but uh i'm drawn i know the feast the december 12th is passed but the way i'm looking at it it, it it never passed it continues every single day every single second every s of the day and i was looking this recent here when the hurricane struck acapulco and the storm basically destroyed everything right but the only thing that stood that that wasn't untouched was the statue of the holy mother of guadalupe and the holy mother statues and churches i covered it there and it kind of reminded me like this just happened re basically a month ago i said wow it's a sign i know it's a sign but a sign of what I keep going through my head over and over what what's the what's the message here the more i dig let me let me go back in time now there was another one a year ago when the when they had the severe drought and then when they started doing the repairs on this church right here which is also with the painting of the holy mother basically different details and there's a fascinating story behind that painting the way it was found during a flash flood and the indians found it and it wasn't damaged you would think it'd be destroyed and to this day i don't really know where that painting came from and then the attacks on the holy rosary when they a year ago when the left wing lunatics satanist forces communists you name it went after the holy rosary consider it saying the holy rosary is a weapon yeah it's a weapon to them and then we had the sun opening up and with that image there that looks like the holy mother opening uh in the sun but it goes back further i mean i've done i covered fatima secret of fatima when the volcano and nobody paid attention because basically everybody lost faith not everybody the majority of people over there in spain i mean they turned down crosses they're trying to eliminate any type of reference to her and jesus and the catholic church christians in general and then when they started giving their attention the volcano stopped i talked about that the history of it 1960 when the third secret of fatima was supposed to be revealed but it wasn't because they didn't want to reveal the that the church was going to be taken over in the the last pope and i go go down like 12 years ago no 10 years ago when i talk here about the star charts on the lady of guadalupe with comet Ison, and then 12 years ago that image popped up when i was covering comet ellen but it was upside down i, I put it upside up and it had the image the same kind of the same image the way i saw it back then basically when i began this youtube i've been on this guadalupe for a decade plus the more i do research okay this is from the video i put out seven days ago looking at this is facing this is different now okay turn it around lara will be above her head the heart reason i bring this up is because they discover musical notes frequency with music using a piano lyrics from above right here that's what it's basically the sound where they got the idea of revelation that was given to them but i want to this is what i'm looking at let me show you remember i said turn around well here it is right here when they did the infrared the more you study into this i mean really study the more you find out miracle after miracle after miracle after miracle it's a long line of miracle and events that's unexplained for everybody temperature 98.6 heartbeat uh, when they did a sound it's a long 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 list it's it's never ending with the new book that came out about the flower right here i want to show you something so here's what i was talking about because they are seen from heaven to earth there's the view from god amazing and god makes no mistakes nope the position of the stars are exactly the position where they were on december the 12th 1531 around 10 48 the universe expands take a computer you can see the place where the stars were that match. Okay, another thing too. Halley's Comet was at its zenith that moment. In other words, Halley's Comet was passing overhead. I did a check on that date. Where was Halley's Comet? It was in the constellation Hydra, the snake. That's the sun god, the representation of Quetzalcoatl and how she was stepping over. You know, based, you have other images of her and Jesus stepping on the head of the snake. 
It's just coincidental since I studied this comet. And I'll and I put a video on that I'm because I'm going to continue on this. See if I could offer anything because Linda Haley's comet was in the picture. And also, too, the sun and Venus basically together. I'll bring that video up because I'm going to do the star charts. I'll do it right now, but I want to continue my frame of thought here. This is basically what I'm... The moment Juan Diego was giving the roses to the bishop and the images imprinted, the positions of the stars from the point of view of God looking down onto the bishop of Juan Diego, that is the position that is imprinted on the... Like a photograph from space. Yeah. And you can see the position right here. Exactly with her head facing towards Jerusalem. Yeah, Jerusalem. I always look and at... And if you have... If you're curious as to what this position might wow, be... Wow, that's... 19.5. 19.5. The exact same position as the flowers on her dress. In the very geographical center of the... Now... In now this is the one. And then again in 1963. And they should do Francisco it again. Camps Rivera, a professional photographer, an expert photographer, made photographic analysis. He works with a Okay, let me freeze there. Those infrared back then, 1954, 1963. Now check this out. The technology they have today, new infrared. I remember seeing it on Twitter X. I can't remember when. Where they could do infrared now with the technology they have now we can actually penetrate and show the veins some other features more advanced now with the ai technology they have now that can make it better and they have the technology is much better than 1954 1963 because it'll reveal more the lady of guadalupe uh what do you call it mitch picture of heaven and also too there was an individual from nasa he said after he did all his study right he said it's alive. And then next thing you know, NASA had to come and say, oh, wait, wait, and say, hey, it was just one individual. He's, it doesn't speak for us. You know how it goes, how they are. They're always going to find a way to deny it. They're always going to find a way to debunk it. They don't want this the light of day. They don't want to see this is the light of day. Uh, he said it was alive. Apparently, everybody has a different experience when they, with our mother. I mean, it's endless people. I mean, the more you dig into this, the more you're, it's like something that it's a revelation. It's like, uh, it's no words to describe it the same way with the near death. It's no way you could describe it. They could do technology. Also the heartbeat. Let me. In 1954. And then again, in 1963, Francisco Camps Rivera, a professional photographer, expert photographer made a uh, infrared photographic analysis. He works with a lot of the world museums and he he uses infrared photography on paintings in order to see what's under the paint. Normally what you find is the drawings, sketching of the drawings, where the paint is going to go, the gesso that will hold the paint in place. The, if the painter changes his mind, which happens very often, if the painter changes his mind and then he, he uh, decides to place a dog instead of a child, let me, let me just go uh, forward anything over. like all changes, there's nothing underneath even more i'll provide a link to the video holding the paint in place technically she shouldn't exist if you try nothing there's no drawing there's no previous analysis there's no changes there's okay looking at it closely on the right side where the the, the corona borealis would be right above you see all the let me use the magnifier Okay, zoom in. Nothing underneath. Even more. Wait, wait. There's nothing holding the paint. Okay, let's go back. Okay, there's nothing holding the paint. Now you can see the illumination, the brightness coming from above, right? And right here, this right here indicates that she's pregnant with a child, Jesus. Remember, the one doctor, it's out there, videos are out there, recorded a heartbeat right there. And the temperature is 98.6. And the NASA said it was alive. It is alive. The eyes, the stories about the eyes. But this, I'm focusing on this. Look how it's illuminated from above. And look how the moon is illuminated. And the angel with eagle's wings. The, there's descriptions of a, it looks like an eagle's wing. Some, some say it's Juan Diego. Because Juan Diego's name before he got converted into Christianity was Talking Eagle. 
that was his name and it's something that the, the wings of an eagle also too this is way way out there right above the constellation above when i mentioned where comet 12p is located at in lara which has a lot a lot of a lot of history a lot of mythology a lot of before the the constellation was an eagle holding the harp and then it sometime after 1 AD, I mean, this is the Greeks, this is before, way before, that, that was the symbol of that constellation, an eagle holding a harp, musical inst notes, but it was changed and it took away the eagle for some reason. And also too, that constellation surrounded by, uh, it's surrounded by a quail and some other, a bird's uh, constellation surrounding that because of uh, the music and the birds and you know, you name it. It just seems like the illumination is from above, but it's touching key points where Jesus is right here. And then the heartbeat, 1954, 1963 infrared. They could do better now. They could illuminate more if it's meant to be more because it's alive. She's alive. I mean, of course she's alive. That was stupid to say that, but you know what I mean? Some of you know what I mean. So let me just continue. She shouldn't exist. If you try to paint this, anything you apply will fall off. Yeah, because look at the holes. Look out, look out. It has nothing to hold the pigment in place. Well, guess what? 480 years later. So she's facing Jerusalem too. But from east to west. Now, mathematics and geometry. The domus area. The proposal, I mean, the mathematical analysis. Okay, the mathematic, if, if it's turned around, do east to west, starting point Jerusalem, looking down, it's amazing. And if you look at this ge uh, mathematic geometry right here, if you go directly above, that's where the harp, eagle, well, the eagle harp constellation, and talking eagle, or Juan Diego name, it, um, I just find that coincidental and, uh, and amazing at the same time. Because the other paintings, the one that uh, where they had the, the same day on 12-12 of this year, they had an earthquake in Mexico City where the church, the other church is located, the Iglesia de la Ángel, where the other painting was located that was uh, found, I think it was 15, I don't remember, 1500s, late 1500s, the one that was found floating in the, in the flood and the Indians picked it up and they had an earthquake in that vicinity right there. In that painting, it shows a crown. And if so, if you had the crown, and that the point where the, the the star is at is exactly the constellation Lara. Music, frequency, vibration, uh, and so much history. The lions, the Lauranians, the war, the great, I mean, it just goes on and on and on and on. So this is basically where I'm trying to, this is where I'm working at. This is where, what I'm trying to do. And this video, I mean, this site here, which covers a lot of the miracles, in, in numbers, number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, six, seven, the heartbeat. That's the one with the heartbeat. Eight, the body temperature. Nine, hearing uh, like she's, she's pregnant, showing signs of pre pregnancy. Ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and, and it just goes on and on and on. This was back in 2020, and there's much more that you could add, you could add about, you could go to 100, and still, you know, because of the heart, the, the light on the day, Mexico approved abortion where that light emanated from the stomach where the, where the ribbons at so it's alive and and like a mother that has different child every child is different this side here has a lot of also a lot of information that ties in with me with the stars the serpent god star constellation Halley's Comet I mean, the, like I said, the more, the more I get into this, well, I'm already convinced. So I'm just doing this because I love doing this. And I feel like I, ha I, I, like I have to do it. No, I want to do it. 
it just reinforces me more and more more in the faith every day every second as you saw my my videos when i first started doing youtube how far back basically i started doing from back then here and then in and out here out you know in you know with the uh, reference then go back to the, the the comets go back to the stars and then with that recent episode last month in Acapulco with all the statues, you know, when you're talking 160 miles per hour plus, not including the wind gusts, statues with dresses, with crowns, none untouched. If that's not a sign, what is? And now this, and with all the events that's happening around the world, it, it's, it's a sign. And I'm going to continue doing this. I mean, like I said, my videos are raw i will continue until the lord takes me home in the rapture and i have that feeling that one day soon that all like the movies you see about the rapture all of a sudden people just disappear i'm ready for that moment i'm ready and honestly i can't wait to go home because home is better than this this hell that i'm living through right now here with the lies and deception and the violence and the corruption and the war on families though yeah there was another one another miracle and i i, I can't i don't know let me see if i can find it okay that's the one i was talking to you about the heart heart the lighting people caught it on camera but uh there was one where the message was in her eyes oh yeah the fa this one right here the family because in one vision, she had the family with the father, the mother, and the children together, sending us a message of the family. So she, one of the messages in her eyes was the family and the importance of having a family. And that's something that the other side has destroyed that I've covered since, since the 80s, 90s, and 2000, how they destroyed the family plan. And then they, they spread it through all the other Western countries like a cancer. And that's why the, uh, I kept referencing, I reference uh, chapter 17, verse 5 over and over and over. Because you see it. I mean, that's if you want to see it. The eagle here, the United States, the eagle will fall from within. I'll never forget that. I need to find out who said that. I'm going to continue because, I mean, 1954, 1963. Imagine the technology they have now. What more will be revealed? Because she will reveal it because she's alive i mean of course she's i mean she's that i don't want to say painting because it's not a painting the, there's no words that um opening to heaven that's, that sounds better like a portal how's that no it still doesn't sound there's no way I could, there's no word that i could find that will even i could throw all the good words in the dictionary and still don't even come close to describing this her and it's not only guadalupe it's fatima it's lores this other other from uh, south america colombia i mean it just is it's everywhere in asia philippine japan i mean i could go on and on and on and on she's everywhere well, of course she's everywhere she's the the mother she's our mother thank god she's our mother all right okay let me stop here this is just like i said this i'm just doing research i'm leaving the video i'm gonna do a little editing cut cut out the but i'm just putting this out this is me just doing what i do behind the scene just a glimpse of what i do behind the scene and like i said i i will con i will continue and i love this video here i love this song and that so many signs that were given in that in that day and that was a media shower i've been doing this since 1996 almost almost 27 years studying the stars and i highly you know videos like this the fire chat like this one right here i'm going to continue the episode three coming up where I, this basically is going to be just focused on the families uh, family issues and exposing the harlots and what they do and how they destroy the good men and why men don't want to marry why there's a high suicide rate of veterans i mean it's it used to be 22 a day now it's increased and how men that are disabled veterans are being abandoned by their wives and taking them to the cleaner leaving them homeless that's why you see a lot of homeless vets 
their pension, their house, you name it. No mercy. When the rapture happens, then you will know. And I'll continue. I'm going to do that because I have a major event happening on the, very soon with me. Keep you updated. And I'll keep updated on the comet and this and the fathers and the family. Till next time. God bless you.